Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a box shadow. So I'm going to add this to my wrapper div. So it's like a drop shadow or it's an inner shadow that you can add to any element on your page. It just so happens that I'm going to add it to the wrapper div, but you can add it to text, you can add it to images, you can add it to videos, any kind of thing. So I'm going to pick up my wrapper div here by selecting its selector, so hashtag wrapper, and then come here to um, background and then scroll down here I've uh, got a background color applied to here which is this dark gray but what I'm going to do here is come down and add a box shadow so you can set what the horizontal amount of the shadow is so how far does it come out the edge here I'll just quickly show you that if I just set that to say 30 px what you'll start to see is this shadow look up here on the side here let me just change the color of it so I might just say in this case I want it to be sort of a whitish color uh, and press enter and you'll start to see it so 30 pixels that's too much so let's go and put that down to say uh, 5 pixels and then you can see it's a hard edge well that's the blur so if I change the blur to say 5 pixels what that will do is it will make it a soft fuzzy edge but you can increase the fuzziness so if you want to make that 10 pixels it becomes even softer and fuzzier on the edge the vertical shadow is how much does it appear around the bottom of the page so by setting this to zero, it means it's not going to be here much at all. But again, if I set that to five pixels, then we get uh, some more of the shadow coming off on the bottom of the page like this. So if I preview this in a browser, what you'll see is we've got this nice kind of sort of drop shadow that is set around the edge of the wrapper div. And it just makes that div stand up a bit away from the background of the page. So you can apply this box shadow to any elements on your page, give it a go and have a play.